discovery and over the past 10 years I have been watching the earthquakes in the state of Ohio exclusively and I want to start my own research projects and just exclusively predicting earthquakes to keep people safe especially in the state of Ohio so all I gotta do is look at this chart and anybody with any sense can look at this chart and see that there is something going on something big something huge going on right now bigger than that update off And then I heard about Donald Trump. They're going after him again. I really don't know what to say about that shit. It's just like it's getting to a point where shit just getting so sporadic with with various peoples, you know, various people in different places all over the world. You never know what to expect on each day. You just got to be prepared. You never know somebody might just snap or somebody might just crash out and give up. That's why you gotta, uh, sometimes you gotta overlook some of this stuff you see on the news and pay attention to the bigger picture. Like, kind of like what I do. Um, it takes a lot to find this type of research that I got in front of you. If you, uh, please not doing your research you're not gonna notice know this type of stuff going on so in the past 10 years we've had a total of well this yeah the past 10 years we had a total of looks like 14 70, 14 55 so in the past 10 years we've had a total of 208 earthquakes right total but where is it 198 okay let's I'm counting something else it say 198 earthquakes in the past 10 years exactly what it says on the chart in the past three years, we've had 128 earthquakes. <laughs> In the past three years, total, total, look at this, look at this, see? Oh, they want to try to remove stuff. It's a chart, it's a, it's a chart that shows you the increase in the, um, in the earthquake activity. See those those spots where where the biggest earthquakes are hitting the most in Ohio in the past ten years. Where actually you got a lot of trouble spots. Most of the trouble spots is is, is where the breaks are going to take place at. Um, from what I was told, Ohio might break into three different places. So wherever you see the biggest dots at is is where. You're gonna have the break during the new magic event because you know new magic is like, you know, new magic is like this area kind of. If I could just drag this over a little bit, nope, it won't let me drag it over. Everybody knows that new where new magic is is here by the you know the mouth of the Ohio River and the Mississippi River. Everybody knows that's where new magic is. Okay. So let me see if I get this chart back up. Let's see. They still, yeah, they're still trying to block it. They're still trying to block it. So, no, it's up here. It's up here. It is. Here it is. They moved it. Here's the chart with the increase in earthquakes over the past 13 years. In 2010, we probably only had like a little bit over. Looks like maybe seven earthquakes in Ohio per year or how would I say yeah we had seven earthquakes in like 2010 
Now look at us. Look at the slope now and after 2020. We're up to 60 earthquakes a year in the state of Ohio. In 2010, we only had seven earthquakes per year. Now we're up to 60. 60 earthquakes. And that's the, that's the numbers for 2024. Yeah, I'm looking at the chart. That's the numbers for 2024. 60 earthquakes per year on average. That's like, what percentage, what percentage increase would that be? You might as well say that's like a, uh, oh my goodness. A hundred percent increase would be just 12 earthquakes. So if you use the multiply that, you got 600, 60 earthquakes. So if you go from six to 60, that's 10. So you got, you got the ratio of 10. Twelve, twelve earthquakes to be a hundred percent. So you need five hundred percent increase of earthquakes to get sixty. There we go. We got five hundred percent increase of earthquakes in, in the state of Ohio alone. Fuck everywhere else. We're not even talking about California. And all the other places we talk about in Ohio, this is going on, and nobody's really on the news talking about this shit or um, getting the citizens of Ohio prepared overall for the outcome of the new magic event that's going to take place real soon from what these numbers look like. These numbers are out of control, actually. These numbers let you know that it's something really, really wrong. And nobody's really paying attention to these type of numbers. So you, the only way you're going to be able to get these type of numbers is to, you, you got to come on my channel and get them. Like, the numbers are here. Check this out. We got a 2.5 on 9-11. No wonder I was so angry that day. No wonder I, I, was, I, was, I felt something that day. 2.5 earthquake. And it's earthquake and up and down. It's starting to earthquake up and down the Ohio River. That's where it started. And then don't forget we got that big um, 4.2 up there in Canada in the past 10 years. So we had um, past three years we had one magnitude four earthquake. We had five three magnitude earthquakes that's just astronomical numbers man let's let you know something going on the ground in ohio something moving you, you gotta be real careful if you live in the state of ohio we really take anywhere in the state it don't matter you really where those earthquake zones at? Where they at? Where they at? What? They really got watching these little zones right here, like them, them little areas where it's red at. That's where you really got to watch it at. And that's the red. Look, yeah, that's it's right there on the um, the mouth of the Ohio River near the dam. Let's see. Oh, I get some data on it. This one occurred this year. It was a 2.3 in Cooperstown, Pennsylvania. Wait, it was on June 16th. I missed this one. Motherfucker. Latitude 41, longitude 79, two kilometers south southwest of Cooperstown, Pennsylvania. You some bitches. 
I missed this one on the, on the, on the other USGS chart. See, this one more detailed. That's what it is. You go on this chart, you're going to get more more detailed earthquakes, especially with the state of Ohio exclusively. Wow. So it's earthquaking up and down the river like I said it was going to do. That's what the fuck he's doing, man. That's why I'm getting paranoid. I'm getting real paranoid, man. And I'm advising people in the state of Ohio to prepare for a massive, huge earthquake. If it go in stages, I don't know what's going to go in the stages. Let's see. You got magnitude. We haven't had a five, a six, or a seven yet. Shit, man. Skip over five and look for a six. It's going to be a magnitude six. California just did a 6.5. That means Ohio, you're going to do a 6.5. You're going to do a 6.5 somewhere in Ohio. Now, I got a feeling it's going to do it near Huntington. Like, they've had... Um, a two or a three down there close to Huntington not too long ago. I think that's the place it's going to do the 6.5 at because that's where all the fault lines clash at right there in Huntington, West Virginia. So in that area, South Point, Ohio, Ironton, Ohio, uh, Huntington, West Virginia, in that area, I'm telling you, I'm guessing it's got to be south. Because the, the magnitude is more powerful coming when it's coming from off the magic fault line, the magic fault line south. Actually, I was Cleveland and really, you know, flow and all that other stuff is south. Everything south. All the earthquakes, all the major earthquakes south. By the time you feel the magnitudes, wherever your location may be, you know, you probably get lower to like 0.5 or 0.4 lower than the actual uh, earthquake is from when it left the epic center the actual epic center is obviously where the earthquake is the most powerful so yeah i missed this one on june 16th that is not cool that is not cool but i already said to do it i said we're going to do it up and down the ohio river so we just have to Look at this data. This data should be key to let you know that something's ready to go on. I don't. I haven't looked at no earthquake data. As a matter of fact, I might. I might look at the earthquake data in every state that's within the New Madrid uh, seismic zone. That's what I might just do. Any 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 uh, state that's affected by New Madrid seismic zone, like Missouri, Illinois, Iowa, Minnesota. And those where most of my family live at in that area, I'm gonna have to check all the earthquake data on those states, and I'm gonna do a video on each and every state on the earthquake data that's um, basically reflecting on New Madrid seismic zone in New Madrid, Missouri. So this is huge. This data is huge that we're looking at right now. This is like something, I think somebody from the USGS should, should at least got on the news and um, at least let people know what was going on or just show, visualize this type of data to get people ready. They just ever run around with their heads cut off. You know, I said the, the news is real. But it's, it's distracting. It's distracting you from the other research that um, if you're a scientist, you definitely probably researching this type of material instead of looking at the news all the time because that, that, news, that news don't report this type of stuff. You know, they, they should have somebody reporting the earthquakes like the weather. That's how I'm kind of looking at it, like Dutch Sense do. That's why I like Dutch Sense, because he actually gets on, you know, that chart and breaks down everything for you. And, you know, that's what kind of like what the weather station should have. Every weather station should have a person reporting these earthquakes on a daily basis almost. Especially if we live, we you live in California, or you live in near the San Andreas Fault, or if you live in near New Madrid. Like like I said, most of us on the um, the north, south, and east coast, 
we live near the New Madrid Seism Seismic Zone, or if you live in Texas or Missouri, you definitely um are being affected right now by the New Madrid Seismic Zone. It's fracking earthquakes. It's a couple earthquakes, but that fracking ain't causing that many earthquakes. Not the ones I've seen on the um. That California chart, that California chart is off, is off, is out, outrageous. And I know there's plenty of people reporting on California, but like I said, nobody's, nobody's reporting on uh, Ohio. Like I think there's going to be something major going on in the state of Ohio and Kentucky. Kentucky's going to be infected by it too, obviously. And uh, West Virginia, the most. I, I think Ohio, Kentucky, and West Virginia is going to feel the devastating effects of this new magic earthquake the most. So I'm advising the people that live anywhere near the Ohio River or any part of the Ohio River, you need to prepare for a major earthquake. With some major aftershocks, like I said, it's gonna, it's gonna jump to a six. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna build up. It's gonna do the six point five. Then it's gonna go do, get the aftershocks, and then you're gonna get the sevens and the eights. Then you're gonna get the big one. And you know the big one gonna come from out of Missouri, but what it's gonna do is gonna make other big or it's gonna make other fault lines trigger. It's gonna trigger other fault lines off. And you're going to have eight, nine point oh earthquakes all over the fucking place, all over the East Coast. Basically, you might as well say the East Coast and fuck the fucking South. The South is going to be affected by the earthquakes, too, especially in that Tennessee area where it's earthquake in there right now near those coal mines. That's going to be an area that's going to be affected by New Madrid. Anywhere along the Ohio River is, is just danger time. Any town, any city that's along the Ohio River, I'm, I hate to say it, it's definitely danger time. It's time to relocate. You gotta be at least, from what I was told, 30 to 100 miles, well you gotta be 30 miles away from a nuclear power plant, 30 to 100 miles away from a nuclear power plant, and then you got to be at least 100 miles away from the coast. 30 miles ain't enough. You, any type of river, you better make sure you way uphill from that river, because it's going to get higher, it's going to flood. It's something, some type of... Uh, I'm getting this information from somewhere and it's it's feeding through my brain like really, really fast. And it's, some, it's like somebody's giving me this information like right up front to, to just let people know in the raw how it's gonna go down, you know? Like, the Ohio River is done, you might as well say. It's, it's always nice to take a drive down the river just to see everything, but while you driving on that river, I'm just here to let you know that you're taking a chance. I just seen boulders jump out in the road before and stuff, so you're taking a chance. High water. Um, I mean, the people that live down there, you know, live in the area and shit. I don't even know what to say anymore, but just prepare. I tried to get somebody not to go back to the area when they, 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 the, um, ex-girlfriend, um, best friend, trailer park, like, across the street from her mom's house, it completely flooded out down there. So I said, man, um, don't y'all want to relocate soon? When I say that water getting real high almost not even livable it's almost like if it rain or 
the dam over flood or something, the, the whole area gonna be flooded out, right? Like, you nigga be nowhere for nobody to live. That's how I look at it. Georgetown, Ohio is the same thing. What I noticed about Georgetown, it's down a bowl. So once you, uh, once the Ohio River floods, it fills up all the way up to Georgetown. That sucks. Well, back in the days, it, it went up that cliff. It's a cliff right there off Route 62 or 68 or some shit. And it, um, I guess at one time, now that Ohio River came all the way up to that point. But that must have been a long, long time ago because them trees <coughs> then grew in and everything. It's got vegetation, but that flood, when I seen that trailer park flood, they let me know that river is bigger than what it looks. It's probably the size of the Mississippi River. They just built on it so much over the years. When you do have this little earthquake, man, it's going to bring some of that shit down that they done built on the Ohio River, and it's going to cause a lot of flooding. I know I ain't been streaming that much doing stuff because I've been busy. <coughs> My video game is quality. I'm one of the best 2K players in the world. I play all different types of games. Fine. This right here, yeah. <coughs> I didn't score another scientific discovery on you people. Unless it's somebody at the USGS looking at this and see what I see. I've been wanting to make a report on this for like two or three days, but I've, I've been having a little homework to do. Now I got some time on my hands, a little bit of leisure time. I could just sit here, play around with this data, and just let y'all know, hey, the numbers speak for itself. When I seen this shit, I got scared. I got scared, especially with this chart look. Oh my goodness. In 1990, it was no earthquakes in Ohio. Zero earthquakes. We go from zero earthquakes to 60 a year. In how many years? In 30, it took 34 years. That let you know it's something wrong, man. Something in... Something in broke, something in, something in broke. I told y'all the ground and gave in in Ohio. I think that's what increased the earthquakes in 2021. Maybe this 4.2 earthquake was what broke everything. I don't know. That's up top though. That's the, that's where the lava spilling out there into the Ohio, into the, uh, Lake Erie. That's the. That's something else. That's got some. That's got something to do with the uh, <clears throat> with Niagara Falls, man. I'll tell you, you the um, the break came before that, or it might have came during during uh. Mm, that's a big enough earthquake to cause cause something to move on the ground anyway. A four point two, so you might have had an aftershock or something that that might have moved moved the whole state of Ohio a little bit. Because now, since the whole state moved, we have 60 earthquakes a year. That sounds like that makes sense, too. The chart telling you something wrong. The state didn't move. The whole state didn't move off its plate. So, I mean, the ground in Ohio right now is unstable. You know, it looks stable. When you driving and stuff, and everything looks normal. The potholes let you know it's something wrong, depending on what city you live in. Those potholes let you really let you know it's something wrong. You supposed to be getting ready for a massive earthquake. The bigger the potholes, the the bigger the earthquake is gonna be. And the more massive, uh, it's gonna be powerful aftershocks too. I already know this video probably gonna get like what ten views or something. Ain't nobody gonna listen. These people just think I'm throwing out uh, fairy tales. 
even when you showing them facts and numbers <coughs> and proof, <coughs> there's something wrong. <coughs> I mean, you still supposed to get more than ten viewers for this type of data. This data, like I said, this, this data definitely could save somebody's life. Save some people's lives. Especially, it looks like, exclusively. Where's, 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 it, where's, it, where's it? The more powerful earthquakes are north, though. They're all around the Canadian um, peninsula, right? Basically, yeah. I mean, you had a, you got the couple in the, over near Detroit Beach, and you got this one near Toledo. This that big one. I think I had recorded this one too. Let me see. <clears throat> you know, there's one right near Toledo. It's right there. Dude, look at all that water. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at all the rivers. You you got to be on high ground for this event. It's coming. Ohio's gonna flood out instantly after the earthquake. Let's see. No, nah, this that one that was still hanging out there um, by Toledo. Yeah, 21 weeks ago. No, this a new one. <clears throat> I just missed it. I just missed it. No, no, I didn't miss this one. This in April. No, you didn't miss this one. It just been sitting there for is 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 it just been been one there for a while, but that's letting you know there's something wrong in that area too. Mm -mm -mm. The big red areas is the trouble areas. I bet you this close to Huntington. Let me see. I bet you this close to Huntington. Where's the location? Maple Ridge, Ohio. I bet you that's close to Huntington. That's real close to Huntington. It's a 3.0. That place probably ain't no more than probably 50 miles from Huntington. Maybe more, no more than 100. I know where that place is at. I'm telling you, look at it. I bet you it's close to Huntington. It's highlight. You know what it is. It's right there. Huntington is, is down from it. It's, 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 it's close to the volcano, actually, that's in that area, too. But it's closer to Huntington. Look at the other earthquake near Huntington. Look at this one. That's why I say it's going to be Huntington. It's not going to be. It's going to do it in that red area south. That's what it's going to do with it. It's going to be in this red area that's close to Huntington that I'm highlighting. It's gonna be in this area right here. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. No, that's north. If that's still Pennsylvania, that's north. Whoa. And it did on September 11th. It was a 2.6. So wait a minute. You mean to tell me you got two earthquakes in Pennsylvania? These are the ones I predicted. They're right next to each other. Almost. They're right next to each other. This is the other one that was in Pennsylvania. This is the other one right here. Come on now. They 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 right on the Pennsylvania border, these two earthquakes. I'm telling you, I know they, they right on the motherfucking border. The border of the Ohio River. Man, it's fucking wild. There we go. The two, two of them. This would occur first, so the force is moving south. Like I said, the force of the push from the Rampo fault line being pushed into the New Madrid fault line is pushing everything south. Huntington, that's where it's going to do it at. It's going to do, let's look at this chart. And when they do the 6.5, everybody down there is going to be running. They were, they were trying to run. They were trying to run in West Virginia. Once, once they do it, I'll tell you. Wait, 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 try that. There we go. It's going to skip over a 5. It's going to do a 6. 
But then it's gonna do five everywhere else. After they do the six, first it's gonna do the six in Huntington, and then it's gonna do five point oh earthquakes everywhere else, cause everything that I predicted is is true. The numbers and the flow of the patterns of earthquakes is heading toward Huntington, West Virginia. So I hope my people's down there ready. Cause right after they do the 6.5, then it's gonna do fives all over, like in all diverse spots, but it's all gonna be along the Ohio River though. It's gonna do fours and fives, and it's gonna be the final warning, let you know that it's getting ready to give. <coughs> So I advise people that uh, that are paying attention to my videos, that are paying attention to the knowledge that I am showing you guys to really take this seriously. This is not a test. This is not a motherfucking game. Like I said, I've never seen no earthquakes increase like this in three years you damn near got more earthquakes in the whole in in, in ohio than in ten than ten than the past ten years come on now and then the past that had a nerve to have three m twos in the past thirty days <laughs> just to throw it in your face m two plus you might say them threes one of those could have been a three a three point oh earthquake yeah, September 11th, um, Washington County, right off the Ohio River, Willing, West Virginia, same place, 25. They might have did it right there on the interstate. If you people really want to pay attention to what's going on, have the awareness that you need to survive these earthquakes that's coming you need data without data you cannot prepare without preparation you don't know what's coming and then when it hits you cannot stop nature we can stop everything else but you cannot stop nature nature is the most powerful force on this planet and we have to recognize that. Seriously. Mm -mm -mm. Still can't believe these earthquake numbers. Every time I look at them. <laughs> 